Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Europa Universalis 4, Common Universalis. Okay, uh, I have an idea. So, I am currently receiving trade power from my subjects, and that's giving me more trade income. Let's try not doing that. and see if my trade income goes down and the triggered modifier price index changes because I'm, I'm still, unfortunately, I'm still losing inflation which at one point maybe would have been good but because of that we are getting um, we're getting the thing we're getting nothing, we're, we're, we're so close to zero that we get nothing you've got to be positive so, like, I don't know And we're also going to lose the war reps from England in about one year. Which basically is going to... We're going to lose both of them, actually, in about, within the next year. So there goes all of my excess income. All of it. Every penny. We can just barely afford one, just one, darn colony. Governance efficiency went up. Interesting. And the price ratio thing... Didn't change. Okay, so my understanding of price ratio must be wrong. I don't know... Hmm, it must not be the numbers. It must be like the amount of... Commerce development versus production development would be my guess. My next guess, rather. Let me just add it up, because I can, I can see the exact number. Um, Alright, so total commercial development. Is there an easier way to see this, I wonder? Alright, whatever. 3 plus 4 plus... 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2. Done. 26. And the other one was 2. 3 twos. Another 2. Another 2. Another 2. Another 2. Another 2. And another 2. Shocking. 18. Alright. So 26 divided by 18 is 44.4%. Also known as not 129.861. I have no idea how that number is calculated. I did decide it's time to send our one lone man off to the new world to go looking for some treasure or something. Where else are we losing money that I could maybe make money? Road is complete in Pale and in Kildare. Nice. That road's gonna go a long way. Urbanization, capacity modifier, and development time, both awesome. And the trade power's not bad either. This is growing, yeah, we're getting there. 3.67 uh, a year now instead of well, meager, meager, trashy numbers we had before. I really want to get, uh, this is our only copper mine, and it's at 0% autonomy too since it's the capital. So I'd love to get some actual production development here. It is leaning that way. Now that we have a workshop there, but we just need more base urbanization capacity to make it grow. And so far, no sign of England murdering me. Scotland's still allied to France. We could still do that same little tactic we used last time. I checked in the ledger and... France does have more ships now, but not many. Just six transports. I can still beat that. I did not check to see Scotland's army. He's at 9k. Okay. We could flank that very slightly. Also, I'm not at the force limit. I could train four more troops. And I think that I definitely want to get another... Really, more peasants? Wow. Um, or did your army get forced out or something? Now you're coming back. Uh, I want to get three cannons because I want to breach these forts. I don't have really good navy, and I, I just I want to pay the military points to force those forts down quicker. So we need to get more money. Each damn cannon is freaking expensive. They cost a lot. They cost a half ducat a month. All right, so we're going to do little thing to hopefully make this whole process go quicker. We're going to make the nobles happier. Yeah, I checked the numbers. And then we're going to raise additional levies. This gives manpower, and I think it's based on your max. I don't really know for sure exactly, but whatever. It's going to speed up this process. Um, last time I did the math, because yes, I do the math all the time. I was calculating it's going to take about 12 more months to finish this mission. New World Charter. 
I mean, technically, I could fit it. And the numbers are going to be okay. I just don't think we really need it. Most of the growth of the colony is actually not coming from the yearly increase. It's coming from this guy, so... Alright, Mr. Conquistador. Go hunt for the seven cities, sir. Actually, I tell you what. Uh, don't do that. First thing I want you to do is go here. And then hunt for the seven cities. Because I want to know who lives there. Or actually, one more time. I want you to go... No, that is the one. Go there. And go there. And then hunt. Because those guys are people that we could potentially colonize next to and then fabricate on. Okay, most of the country's converted. Eight months to convert Kildare? Yes, please. What is our, our our guy working on? What are you converting? Why are you converting up there? Oh, and the other one, by the way, ended up being Bohemia. So some, some pretty big nations. A lot of time it's really tiny guys, or like Denmark or something. Burgundy and Bohemia, it's... Kind of surprising. Okay, dominance of the clergy is happening. How'd that happen? Oh yeah, I remember looking at a modifier expired, but sent emissary to the Pope expires, and we're never going to send another emissary to the Pope, so we don't care. I guess we might as well. Um, I don't care about the stability cost modifier church power. Let's get some admin. And the land maintenance modifier is about to drop off in a few months anyway. Okay, I was also trying to decide... What I wanted to do for the first church power. Development time really just calls to me because it seems like the focus for me in this entire campaign. I just love this this concept of the development system. On the other hand, um, we might be really upset if England attacks me and I've got negative 50 prestige and I really wish I had more morale of armies. On the other hand, colonization. On the other hand, manpower, so we can actually do more development of the provinces. On the other hand, production efficiency, so we can maybe tweak the triggered modifier number so we can get inflation going in the right direction. I don't know. There's all kinds of things to consider. Bon has insulted me. A few years before the truce is up. It's, it's very clever. Festivities. Gain stability or gain permanent base commerce in Cork? Well, if it was production, I'd probably go for it. Because it's got the, the copper. But I'm going to say the stab's probably better. Then again, it's really, really, really hard to convert monarch points into development. So maybe that was a mistake. But I just kind of like the idea of the 5% extra commercial tax modifier right now. Did I see that also lowers inflation? No, it's autonomy. Autonomy. Okay. I also was looking to see, like, exactly why the, uh, what the, why, how the growth rate was calculated. And look at this: every individual province is increasing my yearly uh, colonial growth. So. The way I understand it, there's a negative 1.2 for number of provinces. I have 10 provinces, so it's like probably 1.2 times the number of provinces you have. Um, but then the development, if you go and look at like, say, Tyrone, Tyrone is giving me 0.3, and Tyrone's got 15 development, so it's 0.02 global seller increase per development. So long story short, if you have very few provinces that are high development, then you'll be really good at colonizing. But if you have like a big, wide, trashy empire, then you're not that great at colonizing. Which is interesting. Changes the whole mechanic. Slightly. You just give it up. Let them enforce demands. It'd be fine. Steel is at peace. Attempting to focus on dip. 
think I'm gonna that's gonna be a mistake. I'm not gonna get the ahead of time penalty for this, but I'm not going to be building those. Eh, I guess I don't need it yet. There goes my war reps, I guess. Yeah, no, they're gone. Losing money now. Alright, so how do we afford this? <laughs> Stop paying for a missionary would pretty much do it. Also, when we get this mission, if it ever happens, we're going to get... Commercial tax modifier plus 10, and then the extra stability is going to give another 5% commercial tax modifier, so commercial tax modifier is going to go up 15%. We'll probably be okay. How close are we? 5, 9, 4, 5, minus, uh, no, times 0.8, minus 1, 2, 4, 7, 3. We need 283 manpower, and we're gaining 134. So three months. Nice. Atlantic, South American, and the Caribbean. I usually like to reveal the water first, that way you don't have to worry about them. Crap, I forgot which one I sent him on. West African. That way they can, like, if they reveal new land tiles while they're exploring the water, then they, they will reveal the land tiles the next time you send them. But if you, do, if you do the land first, and then the water, and then they reveal new ones, then they miss most of them, or half of them. And it, you know, it's a little bit slower to actually find the provinces, but... I'm a little concerned. I, I did see some of the Portugal-looking color in Caribbean. Like, that's a lot of, like, that's a lot. I feel like he's, he's doing a lot, and I'm not happy about it. We're not getting a notification of the, the end of the era is, is happening. Are we? It starts when? Oh, here it is. 94 months. Okay. Alright, we found this... These guys. We do have an ally. Huron. We see their ally. Not at all. So, what I can do is try to time it. So I have 20 spy network strength about the time this one finishes. And I send a diplomat, another colonist... To Stedkana, which we want anyway, because of the uh, estuary. And then we fabricate a claim immediately and we attack him. We can do the same thing on this side once the colony's done. But, it's going to be difficult to have an army on the new world that's capable of beating natives while having an army that's safe on the old world to protect me from England, who has 26,000 troops that are curiously moving toward my borders. No, they're moving towards the Scottish borders. They have cited diplomatic insult. Interesting. So he's a babbling buffoon. He insulted England, and England attacked him over it. I guess he wants prestige? No leader showing. And he's got a 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Everyone had their forts on the whole time. How's the disaster doing? Nice and slow, good. And I'm not converting right now, because I wonder if the uh, the estuary will, or the, the conversion center, center of reformation will take care of it for me. Now let's just get them converted. Any unrest in these provinces is causing me to lose income. What is it working on? Good. Not able to go quite as fast. New Admiral, who is apparently brilliant. Okay, where is he? I thought I had two, and now I, I don't see him. Military coalition against the Ottomans. What? I guess he's the only one. Hmm. 
Alright, sweet, we got it. And then they've left the coalition. Well, that didn't take very long. This is what I wanted, so... Colonize... Okay, we could, we could protect our brethren, who are apparently already Protestant. Get efficient, efficient integration, or we could try to colonize Placentia. Yes, I like the idea of colonizing Placentia. To at least size 400 so that we can get loyal enthusiasm. Or convert Connaught to Protestant. Hmm. How long does the modifier last? 10 years. There might be value to it. And it's going to happen really soon anyway. Let's just take that. I'm sure that the other colonization mission will be available next time. I'm tempted to take this cash now, now that a lot of the provinces are getting converted over. Maybe not. We need to we need to be able to take tech. Now something I'm really excited about, I didn't mention it yet, it hasn't come up. Let me know. <laughs> well, I'll just tell you. I've seen one time, and I don't know if this was a fluke or if this is a feature, but one time while I was messing around, I saw a leader with seven fire score. I think the mod lets you go above six, which is very interesting. Right, so do we want to take Diplotech to get this? Settler chance plus five. And study technology. And more colonial range. Or we want to try to knock these two out and get morale of armies plus 10. Get the seller chance this way. I think I'm going to go for the idea first. Let's wait. We'll wait on it though until we can get the uh, idea cost reduction here. Denmark is declared on Sweden. Oh my goodness, Sweden, you are mean. Well, Poland, Lithuania, Moldavia, the whole shebang in. Did not take him long. I didn't see if he breached or if he assaulted, but that was quick. That's 26,000 troops. Same tech, but that's dangerous. He's scary. I don't like him. Immediately gain church power so that we can get that idea a little bit quicker. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Let's look at the church pot of power multiplier there. Hey, look! <laughs> the burgers are almost loyal again! I don't think I ever told my guys to start transferring trade to me again after I learned that it didn't affect anything. That was a mistake. Seriously, after all this, after you basically destroy him as a country, now you're going to take a union over him? He's a fragment of his former power? Oh. Okay, 2.12 per month. Just got to get these two other provinces converted. Sligo. I don't care how aggressive they are if they're never going to actually rebel. Infantry combat ability... Till 1836. Okay. The Janissary Decadence Disaster will become available 100 years from now. So, you're my rival, you're my rival. I can't rent Condottieri. Can't do anything, really. My two minions are completely weak and useless. It'd be great if this, uh... government reorganization thing could end. So that I'll be able to maybe 
Maybe build something. Make some more cash directly. He doesn't even have any claims on Scotland, so he's not gonna not likely gonna take anything. This thing down here we're seeing. Got my ship? Have a boat down there? Yeah. No Portuguese Brazil. Weird. But well, it looks like he skipped Brazil and went straight for the Caribbean. That's gotta be what he did. I mean I have to assume he's got what's his uh war score cost? Two hundred nine. Yeah, he's definitely been growing a lot. He's gotta have something out there. Oh, and actually I could probably see if he has any subjects. No colonial nations yet. That probably just means he only... He just doesn't have 10 in a, in a state. What about the institution? Being 0.88 per month. Alright. Literacy is at least 4% and neighboring province has new world. No. No. Port slash capital of country with a new world colonial nation. Have to have actual nation formed. Damn, it's going to take a while. could pay for the spread rate in the capital state. Just that it's starting to slowly affect my costs here, and I want to take tech soon. But the sooner I get it, the sooner England gets it. Mm. No, let's not. Let's not. Let's save the cash so we can keep on colonizing and just take the tech now. before the penalty gets any bigger. Besides, we can get this benefit for a little while. Two years. And we can pass the Act of Uniformity. Yay! Excellent. Well, the last few episodes, there hasn't really been much war, but... The good news is that we are growing and safe, and England has full occupied Scotland. Except, Scotland did call in France. That's right. I bet England ends up annulling the alliance that way. Amazing that he only has 17 war score from all that. No one has enough battles. Yes, that's right. It's a diplomatic insult, isn't it? And the French must have a ton of forts. Yep. That's a lot of forts. I need more forts. I need two and a half total. These guys are loyal again. Trade income should be coming back up a little bit. Alright, let me just check this one more time. Barred from state careers expires in five years. Low trade income could go away. That could be dangerous. Hmm. In 13, recruited minister goes away. Proper parents is in 14. Okay, granted, admiralship is just in two years. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and... Get the global seller increase. It's only a 10 year policy anyway. Or rather, a 10 year action. Okay, cities back to serfs. Move our commerce from Pale to Cork. I don't really want commerce in Cork, I want production. I can't afford to take a morale of armies penalty right now. Okay.
Lots of wars going on. That don't involve me. Glory Road. Gain base commerce in the Gold Coast. That's not my province. That's really far away. That's in Africa. But it's it's a great province, apparently. Portugal did colonize in Africa. I wonder if he made it into a trade company. Is there a way to see that again? That low tax rate. Interesting. What's his mission? Portuguese, his mission's Portuguese Brazil, yet he's not colonizing anything in Brazil. Yeah, that makes sense. This thing is too far away. That's the jump point around Africa. Assuming that this is colonized by Portugal and Portugal. Yeah, of course he colonized both. Because he needed him, obviously. Still haven't discovered Bermuda. I can reach Brazil. Holy crap. Well, if he wants to have the mission to colonize Brazil, but then not colonize Brazil, I suppose I could colonize Brazil. I mean, the, the only drawback is that I can't really control the trade at all from here. It's, it would not be a good colonial nation to have next, because it'll go from here down to here. I can't reach the Ivory Coast with a trade, with a, with a merchant at all, and I could send it directly into the English Channel, but I can't send it all the way to me. I would have to send it to Caribbean, and somehow have control of Caribbean, and then send it to Chesapeake, and then from Chesapeake, I have to send it to the Gulf of St. Lawrence, and then from there, I can force it into the North Sea. It really does, doesn't make sense to try to colonize there. I think we're better off going for a double colonial nation in North America. Okay, well first, I'm going to take a break. And then we're going to go and do that. Double colonial nation in North America. Let's go. Alright, see you guys in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.